What's up, peeps? Got a special one for you guys today. I've been really excited about this. Um, <laughs> kind of a long wait for it, though. We had some serious uh, shipping delays on this thing. Um, took me almost two weeks to get this in from Blade Ops. But I'm super excited about it. Guys, these are not new models, but this is something that I've been wanting to look at, talk about, cover for a long time. As you can see here, we have a Spider Co. pouch. That tells you it's special. You see that yellow sticker, so that tells you that it's serrated. I know uh, the community's feelings on serrated knives for the most part, but trust me, this is special. This only works as a serrated knife. Uh, to give you some backstory on this thing, um, there was apparently a, um, a grape epidemic in South Africa. Uh, women were being graped at a, uh, an astounding rate, so... The government reached out and Spyderco obliged them by creating the perfect self-defense knife to curb that epidemic. Now, this is what they came up with. Guys, this is the Spyderco civilian. This is the absolute nastiest piece of cutlery I've ever handled. Um, this is not, an, in my opinion, this is not an EDC knife. This is not a package opening knife. In all honesty, it could do all those jobs, but for me, I would never use this knife for anything other than what it was designed for, so that I always knew it was ready and it was sharp. Um, in case you don't know, if you haven't figured it out by now, um, like I said, this was designed to curb a uh, certain type of physical assault that was on, uh, at an all-time high in South Africa. This is what they came up with. Guys, this is the original transgender tool. Um, this thing was made to castrate. Um, even if you missed and you ran this thing across someone's inner thigh, uh, it was over. Um, this is absolutely one of the deadliest pieces of cutlery I've ever seen. Um, it's one of the deadliest pieces of cutlery ever designed. Um, I know people nowadays frown at serrated edges because... Um, how hard they are to sharpen. Like I said, um, I wouldn't use this thing on a daily basis. So I wouldn't really worry about that. I would hope, um, especially if I was a female, I would never have to use this knife. But in the case that I did, I would be 100% confident in its ability to curb a uh, uh, an assaulter and stop him in his tracks. Um, there's been a lot of studies done on serrated edges. Lynn Thompson will tell you that with the exact same amount of pressure applied, that a sharp serrated knife will cut 60% deeper than even the sharpest of uh, normal edges. And this particular blade shape with this S-type blade um, also assists in that. It cuts even deeper. Um, yes, guys, they intended and they designed this thing to remove male genitalia um, and it scares the absolute daylights out of me. Um, this is not a cheap knife. This knife is available at Blade Ops. Uh, I don't know for how long because uh, I know someone who, who wants me to purchase them this knife, so I'm probably going to. But I got to send this one back first because I'm not ready just yet. This is not a cheap knife, guys. This is in VG-10. It's a 4.3 inch blade. It's a G10 scales and a back lock. Um, when this thing came out, like I said, it is a little pricey. So it was kind of unfair that not everybody could afford one when it wasn't just rich people who were being assaulted. So Spider Co. did what Spider Co. typically does. And they came out with something um, at less than half the price that one could purchase to do the exact same job. So this is the Spyderco Civilian. This is the Spyderco Matriarch. As you can see, the Matriarch is slightly smaller. However, it is just as aggressive. It has Spyderco's razor sharp serrations. It is just a FRN handle. But um, yeah, I, I, I can't imagine, I can't picture a knife ever made by anyone who I wouldn't rather uh, have to deal with in this thing. This this absolutely 100% would
would change my mind about assaulting anyone. Not that I'm that kind of person anyway, but if you were, that can you just imagine? Can you imagine this being drug across your genitalia? This doesn't require talent. This doesn't require strength. All this requires is being drug across any body part in particular, and uh, you're in for a very bad day. I can't even imagine, imagine the amount of stitching it would take to close up a wound from something like this. That's why I do believe this is the, the ultimate self-defense knife. Now, I know what a lot of people are going to say, well, what about the amount of time it takes you to get it out of your pocket and get it open? I promise you, if you live in one of those areas, you're probably, uh, and you're female, you're probably reaching into your purse and opening this and keeping your hand inside your purse with it open and ready to go at all times. If you, if you already know that um, those type of things are happening around you. Guys, I apologize for, for kind of stumbling over my words in this. There's so much stuff that YouTube doesn't allow you to say that they'll take your video down forward, but I think you get the picture. Um, I believe everybody's uh, significant other or anyone who is physically not capable of defending themselves, um, especially those who aren't, aren't capable of carrying a firearm, I think this is the the best self-defense tool I, I've ever I've ever ran across. Um, I'm sure in certain situations there are better things. But like I said, what I like about this is it requires no talent. It requires no physical prowess. Um, all it requires is that you have it on you. And uh, yeah, I mean, just a, just a quick swipe and, uh, you know, you could... You could take a forever sleep. So if you're looking for the ultimate self-defense knife, in my opinion, the scariest knife ever designed, either one of these will do that for you. I think this one sells for around 240 250 something like that. These are around $110, $117, something like that. Um, you know, if, uh, in my personal opinion, I, I do like this one a whole lot better, the civilian. However, because I know and I hope that I'm never, ever going to have to use this or that my significant other never has to use this or one of my children never has to use this, um, I'd probably go with the cheaper option. Um, like I said, because I hope that I never, ever have to use it or I hope they never have to use it. So there it is, guys. That's the, uh, in my opinion, the most dangerous knife ever made. Um, I'd love to hear your opinions in the comments. You know, even if you're one of those trolls that wants to say, just carry a gun, just carry a gun. And we've all heard that. Um, this is for, you know, in that situation that you can't. In a lot of countries you can't. However, you know, you, you could carry this. And, uh, you know, it could it could be the difference between life or death. Or it could be the difference between, you know, the, the severe emotional distress that comes along with being physically assaulted in a particular manner that YouTube doesn't allow us to talk about. So, um, yeah, that's all I got for you guys today. You guys know I appreciate any amount of time y'all spend with me. I will have a pinned comment um, with a link to Blade Ops where you can purchase these. Um, like I said, even if it's not something you're interested in purchasing for yourself, um, I do highly recommend that you purchase it for loved ones who aren't necessarily as prepared or um, capable of defending themselves. So there you have it. The Spider Co. Civilian, the Spider Co. Matriarch. Um, peace, guys. See you. Uh, see you soon. Hopefully, there is more content coming in the next few days. Um, I know I've had a little bit of a drought. Apologize for that. Anyway, peace out, guys. Love y'all.